What are chromosomes? Chromosomes are small rod-shaped, darkly stained bodies visible only during metaphase and anaphase of nuclear division. In a non-dividing nucleus, they form a network of fine threads called chromatin net. These chromatin threads are formed of nucleoprotein fibers composed of DNA and basic proteins called histones. Chromosomes are called vehicles of hereditary material that is DNA because they are transferred from parents to offsprings during cell division and carry DNA or genes along with. Discovery of Chromosomes Chromosomes were first discovered by a German scientist Walter Fleming in 1882. He noticed these in the rapidly dividing cells of the larvae of salamander and amphibian. The microscope he used was an old type of microscope and through it he saw minute threads that appeared to be dividing lengthwise. This division was called mitosis by Fleming. Mitosis means thread. Later, the chromosomes and their constituents were studied by using more powerful microscopes and special techniques. Number of chromosomes The number of chromosomes is constant in all the cells of individual and in all the individuals of a species. Hence, the number of chromosomes is helpful in the identification of species. This table here shows the number of chromosomes in some plants and animals. 1. In onion, that is allium chepa, number of chromosomes, that is the diploid number, is 16. 2. In garden pea, Pisum sativum, number of chromosomes are 14. 3. In corn, zea maize, the number of chromosomes are 20. 4. In rice, oriza sativa, number of chromosomes are 24. 5. In wheat, triticum vulgare. The number of chromosomes are 42. 6. In man, Homo sapiens. Number of chromosomes are 46. 7. In chimpanzee, they are 48. 8. In monkey, they are 54. 9. In cat, Felis domesticus. Number of chromosomes deployed are 38. 10. In dog, Canis familias, number of diploid chromosomes are 78. 11. In fruit fly, Drosophila, number of chromosomes are 8. 12. In tiger, number of diploid chromosomes are 38. 13. In female grasshopper, number of chromosomes diploid are 24. And in male grasshopper, they are 23. 14. In female honeybee, the diploid number of chromosomes are 32. All of these above are diploid number of chromosomes. However, the male honeybee has 16 haploid set of chromosomes. Diploid and haploid number of chromosomes. All higher animals and plant cells have diploid number of chromosomes. Their each body cell had two sets of chromosomes, one set coming from the sperm or male gamete, and another set from the ovum or female gamete. The diploid number is represented by 
to capital N or to small n. The gametes of these diploid organisms are formed by meiosis. Therefore, they have just one set of chromosomes or haploid set of chromosome represented by N, that is capital N or small n. Since gametes have only one set of chromosomes, they are called haploid. Size of chromosome The size of chromosome is normally measured at the metaphase stage of mitosis. The size of chromosome varies from 0 0.25 micrometer to 30 micrometer. However, the sizes of some chromosomes are 3 micrometer in fruit fly, 5 micrometer in man, 8 to 12 micrometer in maize, etc. The largest chromosomes are lamp brush chromosomes of certain vertebrate, oocyte, and polytene chromosome of certain dipteran insects. Karyotype and ideogram. The term karyotype has been given to the group of characteristics that identifies a particular set of chromosomes. A diagrammatic representation of a karyotype, that is, a morphological characteristic of the chromosomes of a species, is called an ideogram. The karyotype of different species is presumed to represent evolutionary relationships. Structure of chromosome 1. Primary constriction and centromere The narrow, constricted and light-colored portion of chromosome is called primary constriction. In this region lies a granule-like centromere or kinetochore. The regions of chromosome on either side of centromere are called arms. The position of centromere or primary constriction is fixed for a particular chromosome and determines its shape. The centromere performs the following functions. It determines shape of the chromosome. It provides attachment for spindle fibers. It helps in the movement of chromosome towards pole of the spindle. Secondary constriction. Sometimes one or both the arms of a chromosome have an additional constriction called secondary constriction other than the primary constriction. It lies close to the nucleolus and takes part in its formation. Therefore, secondary constriction is also known as nucleolar organizer region or NOR and chromosome with NOR is called nucleolar chromosome. Chromatids At metaphase stage, a chromosome consists of two chromatids joined at centromere. During cell division, in the beginning of anaphase, when centromere divides, the two chromatids acquire independent centromere, each one changes, into an independent chromosome. Chromatin The chromatin material that constitutes the fibers is formed of two substances. One, DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid, about 40%. Two, histones, which is a particular type of proteins, about 60%. This is a highly diagrammatic representation of the structure of chromatin fibers showing the sequentially enlarged view of DNA strand. The histones and DNA form a kind of complex in which the DNA strand winds around a core of eight histone molecules. Each such molecule is called a nucleosome. 
The shape of DNA molecule was studied by Rosalind Franklin in 1953 and the structure was finally worked out by Watson and Crick in the same year. Types of Chromosomes 1. Based on the position of centromere Telocentric These are rod-shaped chromosomes with centromere occupying a terminal position so that they possess only one arm. Acrocentric These are rod-shaped chromosomes with a subterminal centromere. In acrocentric chromosomes, one arm is very long and the other one is very short. These chromosomes appear J-shaped. Submetacentric These are L-shaped chromosomes with centromere slightly away from the midpoint so that the two arms are unequal. Metacentric These are B-shaped chromosomes in which centromere lies in the middle of the chromosome so that the two arms are almost equal. Based on the number of centromeres Based on the number of centromeres in a chromosome, chromosomes may be considered as monocentric, dicentric and polycentric chromosomes. Nucleolar chromosome In some chromosomes, a secondary constriction may be present at its length. The secondary constriction plays an important role in the formation of nucleolus, hence known as nucleolar organizer. Sat chromosome Sometimes the chromosomes bear round, elongated and knob-like appendages known as satellites. Chromosomes with satellites are called sat chromosomes. Function The function of chromosomes is to carry the genetic information from one generation to another. Giant chromosomes Polytene chromosome It was observed by the Italian scientist Polygiani in a dipteran insect, Chironomus. It was also found in fruit fly. As it was found in the salivary gland, this chromosome is also known as salivary gland chromosome. The alignment of many chromomeres gives polytene chromosomes their characteristics morphology, in which a dark transverse band alternates with clear zones called interbands. Chromosome puffs or Boliani rings are the swelling of bands in polytene chromosome. Lamp brush chromosome It was first discovered in amphibian oocyte. The lamp brush chromosomes occur at the diplotene stage of meiotic prophase in the primary oocyte of animals. Lamp brush chromosomes are much larger or longer than the polytene chromosome of insects. They are present in the form of bivalence in which the maternal and paternal chromosomes are held together by chiasmata. The axis of each homologous consists of a row of granules or chromomeres from which lateral loops extend. There are about 10,000 loops per chromosome set on a haploid set. 